we are libertarians and we believe in inalienable rights. Inalienable rights are those that are given to you just by being a person. We're going to talk about rights, which gets to be a little bit of a contentious topic because we all seem to have our own idea about what rights are. So we're going to try and cover them all. We're going to talk about what everybody means and we talk about rights so that we can all be on the same page and all be talking about the same thing. Because that's how we can have a good conversation. There's lots of different ways that people talk about rights. There's human rights, there's political rights, there's social rights, there's inalienable rights. It all boils down to these are things that uh, you can somehow get a guarantee of. Sometimes they're rights that are guaranteed by government, and sometimes they're rights that are just guaranteed by being human. So let's start with that one. Rights that are guaranteed just by being human are called inalienable rights. There are rights that you get just because you were born, you were born as a human being. And there are certain things that just come with being human that cannot be taken away from you. Inalienable rights are rights that can be infringed upon, uh, but you can never really be deprived of. These include things like your right to speech. You always are able to speak. You can always communicate because that's one of the defining features of being a human. You have the ability to communicate whether that be through um, spoken word or through written word or through computer code, you have the right to communicate. Other parties or governments, other individuals or other groups can always try and come in after the fact, after you've somehow communicated something they find objectionable and try and infringe upon this. They can try and silence you, they can try and um, harm you, they can infringe upon your other rights, like your right to life, but they can never really uh, take that away in the first place. You, you don't have to ask them for it. Um, it just comes with being born. There are other kinds of rights that do require um, a third party or a government or an individual to help you out. And these are the ones that we tend to get in more arguments about. These are things like human rights and things like social rights. These are rights that impose a duty or a requirement on another individual or another party. We'll talk about those more in a later video. <laughs> 